Half of the world's population still cook with wood or coal on open fires and stoves. And now, with the majority of the world's population living in cities, many in extreme poverty, this is not just a rural problem. 1.6 million people die because of breathing this smoke, and our planet is threatened by that same smoke. Stoves are the most direct, most affordable way of addressing climate change. You know what I love? I love the Aprovecha Research Center has been designing improved, more efficient cook stoves for 20 years. Now they're bringing them into production on an unprecedented scale. One of the really important things is bringing the project to scale. We need millions and millions of stoves to be able to mitigate these, these serious problems. In China, they have finally found their ideal factory, the Shengju stove manufacturer. Mines in the area produce a rare, lightweight clay. It's mixed in very precise proportions, molded to Aprovecho's design, and fired in a traditional Chinese kiln. The combustion chamber is light enough not to draw heat away from the cooking pan but durable enough to last. This one's fired. Wow. Sheet metal is sculpted to make the stove casing, and then the stoves are assembled. The Shengju stove manufacturer can produce half a million cheap, efficient biomass stoves a year. But when you're producing such vast numbers, quality is crucial. The important thing when you're trying to have a low emission stove is uh, everything has to be done very well. So every stove has to be made to exacting tolerances that really can only be made in a factory like this. Factory owner Mr. Shen is confident that every stove leaving the factory will be made precisely to the approved design. <laughs> We quality check at all stages. We take samples from every batch of the finished product, send them to the lab and check the amount of smoke and carbon monoxide that is released. What is unique about this project is that now we finally have a supply chain of really improved cook stoves. We brought the know-how to do that. The factory is an expert in manufacturing. And then the last part of it is the distribution chain. What to do, how to do it, how to get it to the folks who need it. At the moment, we are in Alexander. We're in a township called Alexander. Here, people are living in shacks. They have no electricity. They have no running water. I think it's one of the poorest communities around this country. They're using coal and wood and paraffin to cook. Paraffin used to take most of our family income. We are not all employed. We used to spend lots of money and sometimes ended up borrowing to pay for paraffin. These efficient factory-made stoves can have a massive impact on the lives of people living in conditions like these. At first, I was worried about the stove. I did not trust it and thought maybe they had given us something which doesn't work. But after lighting it, I felt so good and happy. There's a big difference between the paraffin stove and this one. The children are no longer coughing. I use it day in and day out with no problems at all. These stoves are going to save lives, you know. These stoves, people are going to save money. These stoves, they are energy efficient. So it means you can also save some money and buy food, extra food for your family. Aprovecho's efficient, improved cook stove has made its way from research center to quality mass production. Now with distribution partner GTZ, the stoves are reaching the homes of those that need them most.